All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going over some rare photos of the Twin Towers I found via a skyscraper forum. These are just different perspective shots that probably a lot of people haven't seen. This first one, you can see the entrance to the mall via the Five World Trade Center. I talked about the underground mall. That was one of the entrances to it. You could also access the mall through both of the Twin Towers and also Four World Trade Center. This is one that I really can't confirm it, but I want to say it's in the underground shopping mall plaza, possibly, you can see customer services, maybe a library down there, I believe that's where that location was. This is the underground subway, you can actually see a sign on the right that says World Trade Center, this is after... Uh, September of 2001, you can just, some of the damage there, those are just some phones, almost like abandoned phones in the pitch black. This is kind of a unique perspective shot, just showing you how close the Twin Towers were to the Marriott World Trade Center or Three World Trade Center, the hotel, literally right next to each other. Uh, this is kind of a weird one. I, I don't know if this is on the roof of the Marriott Based on the design of the Twin Tower, the shape of it, I'm going to guess no. It's a lot lower than that because you can see the towers kind of curving up right there, or at least the design that, that was lower on the building. That might be on like a lower section of the Marriott roof. It was taken in August of 1997. That is just an interior lobby shot. I want to say this is One World Trade Center or the North Tower. You can see all of the different world flags. The lobbies were certainly interesting because you could see right through them, meaning if you were outside looking through the glass windows, you could see to the other side and through, which is just so unique and you would never see a design like that today. The ability to see directly through on a 110 floor structure. It's just so remarkable and so unique. This is a really good night shot with the Marriott in front. These are hard to come by, but you can see this one, the Marriott, some of the rooms lit up, and then the World Trade Center really lit up in the background. Almost looks like it's at dusk. You can see in this one, the Marriott on the left, and then both of the World Trade Centers flanking it to each side. Uh, just another perspective there. This is it during, this, this is the lobby during the holidays an interior shot. This is a rare HD, or I don't know if this is HD, but it's it's a high resolution photo for World Trade Center pictures. You can see it's outside of one World Trade Center because it does have that little awning over top of the front and two World Trade Center did not have that. That's it lit up in 1996 under the little awning right next to the lobby. That is the interior uh, of Two World Trade Center or the South Tower with a random Christmas tree. I'm guessing they were setting something up here. Like, imagine if they just, like, that's their interior decoration. It's just a random Christmas tree. Looks like it was rolled out right into the center. Just not much in terms of decorating right there. This is a pretty eerie photo. You can see the bottom of the lobby illuminating, like, through the windows of one of the Twin Towers, and then the sunset in the background, but none of, I guess a few of the lights might be on there, very small amount of lights on in that one. This is from the Twin Towers looking down onto the plaza. Now that is a type of a photo that a lot of people know. This is looking directly up the facade, and the interesting thing about this, in regards to the individual, the man trying to climb down the Twin Towers, if he actually would have made it, he would have ran into an issue because you can see where it gets skinnier and there's really no way to fit through that. And he would have had to have improvised or done something or probably just hoped as he was scaling down the side that there would have been an open window because you can see it does get narrower way near the bottom, but not directly at the bottom. It would have been a pretty lengthy way to the bottom there. That is just a roof shot. You can see some snow coverage on both the North and the South Tower, the North in the foreground. And then this is a nice up-close shot at the South Tower observation deck. You can see, I mean, that looks like a helicopter, a helipad. Uh, people, the people were saying there was no helipads, but to me, that looks like a helipad. I mean, what else would that be? There's a unique perspective of some of the debris uh, you know, going down the stairs right there within the complex. That's a zoomed out photo of it right there. 
there's a shot of the plaza and you can see the landscape in this image, a bunch of greenery located around the fountain area. The fountain wasn't even on in this image. You can see all the green trees around it, kind of a different style. This is probably never going to happen. You know, you've got the Diamond to World Trade Center likely never getting built. You also have another building there that's probably never getting built, but you can see one World Trade Center up. That's kind of like the mock version of the final looking rebuilt World Trade Center complex. Again, it's probably never going to happen. If two World Trade Center never gets rebuilt, I, I, I don't think you can call the complex officially, you know, rebuilt just because, you know, if you take one of the skyscrapers away, it's, 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 it's not fully complete. This is a interesting photo of the windows on the world, the restaurant. There's some rare photos here. You can see the sun setting with a plant right there. There's another one, the sun setting in the background looks like it's maybe off, uh, you know, past the restaurant or in, in some type of alleyway leading to the restaurant is another shot of the restaurant looks like maybe it's at sunrise around there this looks like it's a storm or something outside look how blue that is that looks pretty cool but that's also inside the restaurant this is the wild blue bar the door entrance to that right there this is on the 106th floor so this would be the restaurant floor or actually i believe it's floor 107 yeah yeah no the, the restaurant floor is floor 107 and you can see it is floor 107, just based off of the little sign right there next to the elevator. This is possibly floor 106, like a little conference area. This is a very dark photo of another conference area. At this point, it's it's really dark out and you can barely see anything. That's a little bug on the window there in an upper floor of the Twin Towers. That is the sunrise inside the restaurant in the North Tower. There's just more photos of it. There is the wild blue again. Kind of a weird omniance in that photo. Looks like it's past closing time. Complete total darkness behind there. Here is the uh, inside of one of the elevators. This is on the North Tower. This is some type of a oh, maybe a mini chandelier on the North Tower. There you can see that that would be the upper service elevator. That services the top floors based off of those buttons right there. This is the lobby area on the entrance to the windows on the world. The architecture behind there on the wall almost looks like balls connected to the wall. That is a relatively rare photo. You can see this is the connector bridge to the entire complex with building seven in the background. And then this is building five. Almost looks like, I mean, that's definitely old architecture. One of the things that I really think they would have done, when you look at the surrounding buildings, I'm not talking about the Marriott, but like four World Trade Center, five World Trade Center, those things would have been completely remodeled. They are brutal. That is not good architecture. They do not look good or they did not look good. I mean, I guess it's understandable. This was over 20 years ago, but that would have been one of the first things in their potential remodeling of the plaza, that entire area that probably would have happened. And this is kind of what I'm talking about. You can see here at night, all lit up, one of the, maybe this is four or five World Trade Center, just a horrible exterior design. And, you know, I think they would have changed that for sure. And then this is just another perspective photo outside looking in. Of the lobby, you can see all the people kind of conjugating in the second floor of the lobby because the top area kind of went around in a circle. That's just looking in. Once again, the lobby very wide open and virtually completely see-through, but those are just some rare photos of the complex. Guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.